you started your business, identify some of the struggles you've had in your business. This helped to form your story. When you understood what you've been through, where you came from, the difficulties you had, when you started, you were just using maybe uh, a shovel, and now you have a mixer. What are your struggles? What struggles did you have when you started your business? What are some of the struggles that you had when you started your business? Wanting to put your business out there, you don't seem like anybody is supporting you. You don't have anybody to bounce an idea. What are some of the struggles that you had when you started your business? Evaluate your pain. It's from that place where you felt maybe discouraged or you just felt overwhelmed. Whatever your experiences were when you were struggling, you remember that. This helps you to keep going forward because you know where you came from. Situations may come up. But you remind yourself, I've overcome something similar to this. I can handle this. And I will overcome that too. And you create that positive mindset. Whatever you do, don't stop. Keep moving. Keep going forward. Build on your strength. As you build on your strength, you look at the things that you are good at. And you celebrate every win. Everything that you're able to achieve, you celebrate it. Don't look at anything as, oh, it's just that. No, because if you did not get it done, just that would have cost you extra money. Celebrate everything you're able to achieve. Build on your strengths. Recognize your pillars. Recognizing your pillars are those individuals who have helped you on your journey since you've started your business. It may have been somebody you spoke about the idea with. It may have been a customer, a repeated customer over the years. It may be a supplier who always seemed to have the products available. Remember the pillars. Because once you remember the pillars, Sometimes these pillars from 10 years ago in business may be the one who give you that network that you need to push you forward. Remember your pillars. So as you build, as you've started building your story, we are just building, this is not the entire story because you're still in business and there's more to learn. But I want you to take this information with you. And whatever you do, don't stop, don't give up. Believe in your products, believe in your services. When it seems like one area is not working, don't give up on it. Consider multiple streams of income, dig into your passion, and as you dig into your passion, Come into that space where you can think of what else can I do to generate income. Because it has a time when that business that doesn't seem like it's flourishing now may start flourishing again. Suppose you gave up on it. Then what would have happened to that business? You're building your story. And as we are talking about building stories, we are going to hear your entrepreneurial journey. So if you can tell us the name of your business, the owner of the business, and just share with the social media and those here in the room, what do you do in your business? Any information you want to share about your business, feel free to share it. Remember to give us your contact information. Okay, we'll start with Pamela, who's ready. Come on, let's celebrate her. She takes courage to come to the front. Hi, everyone. Hi. Um, my name is Pamela Thomas. Um, I 
By profession, I'm a nursing attendant. However, a year now, or almost a year now, um, you know, I was, it was an intervention, if I must say, to get into cleaning and so on. I love cleaning. I, first of all, I love gift service. Whatever you need, as long as you said help me, I am ready to help. You know, and if I don't have it, I will get it for you. But I don't, I'm not a person to go around and say, buy this one. You want this to buy? No. But if you say, I need help, I need this, I need that. Say no more, I will get it. So, um, uh, I started ready made, R-E-D-D-I-I, -I, made cleaning services. Um, I forget all the questions. <laughs> but, um, in starting the business, now this is new to me, um, and so networking was something that I dived into to find out, um, you know, how to go about this, how to go about pricing, and so on. And so I realized that um, it, in cleaning, it's not such a friendly place. Because even though persons are there long before you, they're not readily they don't readily want to, to share information um, or they will tell you things that, we are, that are way off. And so I, in my research online, I realized that for some business to thrive, you have to invest in yourself, invest in knowledge, which is why I'm here. And, um, it is a, a grow, it's a teething pain and one of the things, um, the strength for me is my determination. Don't tell me some I can't do it. <laughs> Don't block me. Okay, if you block me, I'm going to show you that it can be done. I'm, I, I just have that in me. Um, pain, I cry a lot because I expected to get six figures or some way halfway there. <laughs> Boy, it's six pittance. <laughs> um, the, there, some strength, I can say I have seen some equipment from it, um, cleaning equipment, because when I started, it was just my mop and my brush. And I, my, I remember my first experience um, when I'm done, it took me 10 hours by the way. Because I thought, oh, and that's what I realized with cleaning. Some cleaning, you can go in there and about, about, about two hours you're done. There are some cleaning, you go in there and you say, oh, and you give your evaluation and so on. But for me, I am very detailed. Very. Certain spots and stuff bother me if I forget to. It is there and oh, it was not implemented in the evaluation, I have to still get rid of it because it just triggers up. Oh, you did not touch that spot over there. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And so, um, yeah, when I went home, my fingertips, my fingertips, but what um, my, I, I, I take from it is the feedback, you know, because when they look at their toilet bowl and, and realize that there is no orange circle, there is no watermarks, um, what do you call it, lime, lime. Okay. right, That's good. and so on, and the, they are telling you, you know, how detailed you are and you're very thorough and so on. Oh, I didn't expect you to do this. You really clean outside. I didn't expect you to go outside. I just wanted when they come, it's a different ambience. And so um, that eliminates the pain, Real my focus on the pain. Um, pillars. There are a few persons that um, had given me some business. I had a, I've been able to make, you know, uh, my car payments, pay some bills, and as I said, buy a few equipment. But then it was, hmm, you know, a chuckling car, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Um, but these are persons when I was unsure about myself, 
what am I doing wrong? Why am I getting um, clients and then they said, I'll call you and they never call back. Or um, you started and they said, um, you know, uh, I have this, I have that and they have whatever excuse and they said, um, we'll rain check, you know, why is this happening? Um, you know, uh, when I think about it, your price is a little bit much, you know, but then, so I would call these pillars and I would say, um, tell me what's your feedback? You know, were you okay with my prices? Um, do you have any negatives that you want to share? And so on. And I have them in my phone and most were positive. And of course, there were some that were said, um, you know, you need to have an invoice have this, you need to have that, you know, and so on. And so it's very important to have these pillars to run back to when you're not so sure about yourself because sometimes I don't think we are on, we are fitting yet. But I am here now and I'm looking for growth. Great. Thank you. Come on, we can do better than that. Come on, we celebrate.